Assalamu alaikum everyone, welcome back to another virtual lecture. So in today's video, we're going to learn um, a few things. Okay, so it'll be a series of shorter videos, okay? Otherwise, the video will be too long. Okay, so in this first part, we're going to look at changes in equilibrium GDP and the multiplier. Now, recall in the previous two videos, we have learned how to determine equilibrium GDP using two methods, right? The first method or approach was the aggregate expenditure and output approach, and the second was the leakage injection approach. Okay, let's look at the multiplier effect again. Now, in topic four, we learned about this concept, multiplier effect. There were two formulas that uh, you learned, right? So the first formula is this one, change in real GDP over the initial change in spending. Now, spending here can be any of the component of aggregate expenditure. It could be C, it could be IG, it could be G, or XN, okay? Uh, but remember, since now we are still in the situation where the economy is private and closed, meaning we're only focusing on two groups, which is C and IG. Okay, so the initial change in spending here is either C or IG. Okay, let's look at this second formula, 1 over MPS. Now, you know that there is a relationship, right, between savings, consumption, and income. C plus S equals to income. So imagine if people save more and more, what is the implication on consumption? People will consume less and less, right? So if you look at the denominator down here, as it goes higher and higher, what it means is we're taking one over a bigger and bigger number. So what does that imply to the multiplier? It will become lower and lower. Okay, so as you can see, uh, there's a negative relationship between multiplier and the MPS simply because the more people save, the lesser they consume. So the lesser they consume, the lesser will be the power of the multiplier effect. So um, what is the significance of the multiplier? Is that here, if there's a small change in investment, or consumption, okay, it will trigger a much larger change in equilibrium level of GDP, okay? Remember, that's the definition of multiplier effect, right? I repeat, given a change in initial spending, initial means the first, okay, the first. Given um, an initial change in spending, it will bring about or it will trigger a much larger change in real GDP, hence the name multiplier effect. Now let's look at this example. Suppose there's a fall in real interest rate. How will that affect investment? There will be two effects here. Because we know that there's a difference between investment demand curve, ID, and investment schedule. Okay, we learned this at the beginning of topic five. Right, now suppose there's a fall in real interest rate. What happens is it becomes cheaper for companies and firms to borrow. Therefore, there will be a downward movement along the ID or investment demand curve and there will be an upward shift in the investment schedule. Okay, so the change in the investment demand curve can be shown through the aggregate expenditure and output approach, whereas the change in the investment schedule can be shown through the leakage injection approach. Let's go and look at it one by one. Okay, so now, say there's a fall in real interest rate. Initially, our interest rate was 8%. So we, um, the plan investment was 20 billion. Now when there's a fall in the real interest rate, plan investment increased to 25 billion. So can you see here, there's a downward movement along the same ID curve, right? Now, the change here is 5 billion. Okay, so this change can be shown in the investment schedule. See, initially, Okay, the investment schedule is only 20 billion when interest rate was 8%. When interest rate falls to 6%, there's an increase in the investment amount by 5 billion. Okay, so can you see here? Let me try to show both. Okay, so here basically shows there's a downward movement along the investment demand curve. But the amount of change here is represented by a shift in the investment schedule. In the aggregate expenditure and output approach, we can visualize it using the Keynesian cross. Now pay attention first to this first line. This is C plus IG initially, meaning when interest rate was at 8%, our investment schedule was 20 billion. Okay, so this is the line. And this is the equilibrium real GDP. 
at 470 billion output okay but then remember just now interest rate falls right so what happens is there's an increase in investment that is why this entire curve shifts upward okay by how much by 5 billion how do we know this it's from this increase see there's an increase in the IG schedule now remember that the investment schedule is a straight line because it shows the amount of planned investment at each level of real GDP however we know that the consumption schedule is upward sloping here so something constant plus something increasing it will become an a constant increase here okay just in case you're wondering why is the shape like that all right so this is looking at changes or um, yeah how much the real GDP changes using the aggregate expenditure approach now how do we want to show the effect or the multiply effect here it's here okay see the change in investment is only five billion but let's look at the change in real GDP 20 billion okay now go back to the definition of multiply effect given an initial change in spending okay, in this case it's investment it will lead to a much larger change in real GDP 20 so we can actually calculate the multiply effect here how see here this is the initial change in spending okay which is 5 billion this is our change in real GDP 20 billion so using this formula it's basically 20 over 5 so our multiplier is actually 4 in this example now let's try to explain the changes in equilibrium GDP and the multiplier effect using the leakage injection approach okay right initially our IG was here at 20 billion right this is when interest rate was 8% when interest rate falls to 6% there's an increase in our investment schedule here right. so this S line here is a given it's upward sloping go back to our previous lecture video okay so initially this was our equilibrium point 470 billion when investment schedule increases by 5 billion okay we will intersect at another point at the S curve here so here you can also show the multiply effect this way okay change in initial spending over change in real GDP again our multiplier is 4 